stainless steel housing and four tool hardened steel cams in there, okay? So they're not teeth, they're actually cams. And the difference between a tooth and a cam, a tooth needs constant pressure, whereas a cam, as soon as it gets some tension on it, it's going to work on its own, okay? In our R&D department, when we uh, were testing this on dead poles, the only thing that we could do is shear that eye at about 5,500 pounds consistently. Okay, so we rate these at 4,000 pounds or two tons per conductor safely, okay? So, the installation of this, oops, <laughs> and I'm just going to use this, this looks a little hodgepodge, but I'm just going to use this stick of wire here, oh, that's the wrong one, there we go, Back up. there's no, there's no uh, preparation needed for your wire, okay? Just install it directly in. Now, you would normally take this all the way up to about an inch from this main crimp. Okay, so this is a single basket per conductor. The benefit there is, as opposed to a single basket for all, is when you use a single basket for all conductors, you're only getting 25 to 30% surface area tension, and you're hoping that the compression is going to work, okay? There's a lot of other ways that that's supplemented, whether it's drilling through conductors, putting tie wire in, whatever the case is, the application of tie wire and tape, okay, et cetera, et cetera, which ends up creating a lot of drag on the head of your pull as well. With this, no prep to the wire. You have 100% surface area tension. You have the four cams that are there for a, a double lock, if you will. All you do is put a couple of strands of tape around that, and you're good to go. Two tons, 4,000 pounds per conductor, just like that. Okay, so to set up a head, you'd actually take whichever grips you're going to use, slide it up inside of this sock. Now you can use the grips with the sock or without the sock. We have a chart in here that actually shows you under what size uh, conductors, what size, or the counter conductor, the size of conduit, etc., etc., when you would use the sock, when you wouldn't. Okay, so there's all the guidelines on this of how to use this, how to apply it. But you basically put what you're going to use inside this sock, connect your clevis, and you've prefabbed your head. You can actually do this here in the shop. So you've got your clevis, your sock, your grips. You can fold this up, put it inside this carrying case, send the carrying case out to the job. If all your phone is 500s, again, a couple of minutes in here, send it out to the job in that case. When it gets out to the job, unzip it, connect this to the pulling rope, Insert your conductors, one, two, three, and away you go. Each grouping, each grouping size has... Stop me. See your girlfriend here. <laughs> she wants to buy two. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's been young. <laughs> <laughs>